Hey everyone, it's Liberty. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys the Sigma Smoke Screen Palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. I've been meaning to do this review for a very long time now, probably like a month at least. I've just been really, really busy. I've had a lot going on lately and I've just, you know, been busy doing things and trying to catch up on videos and all of that stuff. So it's been crazy and hectic, but I'm finally getting around to it. I got sent these for free because I got them when I became Became an affiliate with Sigma. I'm also going to be showing you guys the somewhat new Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush and the eye shading E55 brush. This is like a little travel size. I'll just talk about the brushes really quickly here. The Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush is supposed to give you a really beautiful flawless finish as well as you know their other Kabuki brushes. So this is pretty similar to the Sigma Black Kabuki F80 brush which everybody knows and loves for good reason. As you can tell, it's kind of slanted on each side. So each side has like a flat side, but it's like it goes up in a triangular shape. The reason for that is you can get into really small, hard to reach areas like around your nose, under your eyes, basically anywhere. You can use this for your whole entire face. So you can use the sides of the brush for applying your foundation. You can stipple it on or you can kind of buff it in a little bit. It's big enough to where you can use it on your whole entire face. And then you have the sharp angle right here where you can reach into the corners of your nose, under your lip if you want to get a precise line when you're doing your lipstick, or up here above your eyebrows, because I know for me, with other brushes, it's kind of hard to get right by my eyebrow because I do my eyebrows first before I apply foundation. So this really comes in handy for that eyebrow area as well. The Kabuki brushes are synthetic fibers and they're meant to be used with powders, liquids, and cream products. So basically everything. And that's one of the reasons I love this line of brushes. All of the Kabuki brushes are also very densely packed. So they're very firm. So when you're applying your foundation, it is not going to be flimsy and all over the place. It's very firm and it's very nice. The bristles are super soft as are all of the brushes that Sigma has. I really like the whole concept of the shape of the brush too. I haven't seen that before. So that is definitely unique to me. The next brush is the Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. This is how it looks. It's just, oh god, my camera's gonna die. It's just a basic um, eye shading brush. It's not as dense as some other ones that I've seen, but it still works really well. I love it. I basically just use this for my lid, but it is soft. The bristles are nice and soft. It is shedding a little bit right now, so that's probably a downside for me. Other than that, all of the bristles seem to be in there really good. I think there were just a few that needed to be pulled out every now and then, but this is also a really nice brush. It's nice and wide, so you can cover a lot of surface area on your eyelid. Okay, finally, for the smoke screen palette, my camera's gonna die soon. It comes in like a little case like this, and the back side of it shows you all of the colors that are in here. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool toned palette, and there are a few warmer shades in there, a few neutrals. I really love this palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, and I will show you how this looks when you take off the case. This is how it looks and it shows you the colors on the back of the actual palette itself. So this is how it looks. It's just got the Sigma logo on it right here. Very simple, very small and sleek. You can take this with you when you're traveling. Very convenient and it has a magnetic Close. When it closes, it closes really good. It's not hard to open, but it's very, you can tell that it's it's not going to open if you're traveling or anything like that. You have to kind of try to open it. It's, it's good quality. It's a good thing, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Very nice size mirror in here. Very big, very large. I actually use this when I do my eyeshadow with this palette. I normally don't use the mirror and eyeshadow palettes because sometimes they're too small or they're too like short but really long and it's just like, it's weird. So I love the size of the mirror in here. Here are all of the colors. On the back, it's gonna be like how you're looking at it. The colors are organized the way that you would be looking at it from the front. I kind of wish that the um, names of the eyeshadows were on here under each shade or at least like coordinating on the back. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it would just be a lot easier. So I will show you guys some swatches as well. Veiled is just like the um, the basic highlight shade. However, the only thing I don't like about Veiled is that it's not as shimmery as I would like it to be. It's a little bit more glittery, 
Like there are some glitters in there. I'm wearing it on the inside of my eyes today. It's not as bright as I would like it to be. I like my highlight shades to be super bright. Like I, I want it to be obvious that I'm wearing a highlight shade. I know not everybody likes that, so that might be something that you like, but for me personally, I just wish it was brighter. You have a few mattes in here and a few satin finishes, I guess, and a few shimmery shades. The thing I like about this palette is it's more of a natural kind of palette. There are a lot of natural shades in here, a lot of neutral shades that you would want to wear if you don't like wearing a lot of crazy colors, but there are a few colorful colors in here as well, like this turquoise shade right here and this lavender or lilac shade. I like how versatile this palette is. I will show you guys some swatches of these. The first one I'm going to show you is called Veiled, and this is the highlight shade. This is how it looks just swatching it on my finger. As you can tell, it's not very bright and it doesn't show up very well on my hand. Let me show you guys right there. You kind of have to layer it over itself quite a few times. Um, this is how it looks on my eyes today. It's not that noticeable, but it does give you a little bit of glitteriness to it. And the next one is called Opulent. I hope I'm saying that right. It's like this bronzy shade right here. And that's how it looks. This one's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Half Baked from the Naked palette. The next one is Ember, and this one's kind of a shimmery shade as well, and it's a little bit on the bronzy side also. Here's Opulent, and then here's Ember, so they're pretty similar. This one's more cool toned, this one's more warm. Then here's Thunderhead. This is one that I use in my crease a lot. It's kind of a cool tone brown, but, well, it looks warm in the palette, but it looks more cool on the finger. And the next one is Misty. This is the lilac one right here. Very, very pigmented, very beautiful, but I do recommend wearing a base under this. Not necessarily just a primer, but like a purple eyeshadow base or even a white one. The next one is Haze. This is the one that I use in my crease a lot too. This is a cool toned taupey color. The next one is Svelte, I think is how you say it. It's kind of like a military green color. So here's how that one looks. Very pretty, very pigmented, and that is a matte shade as well. The next one is Rave. It's kind of a shimmery brown, kind of. Um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's kind of like a satin finish, but there is some glitter in there, just, tiny, just a tiny bit. The next one is Nebula. It's that turquoise color or just the baby blue. Next is atmosphere so sorry I'm going fast my camera's gonna die this one's like a reddish burgundy color and it has really pretty sparkle in there as you can see when you move it you just get the pretty reflex next is cinders this is a gray and I would um, describe this as a satin finish that's how that one looks very very pretty and the last one is almost jet so that is the black one right here and I think this is matte yeah this is a matte shade that's how that one looks. Very pretty, very pigmented, and I'm using that on my eyes today as well, but I didn't go crazy or overboard with it. As you can see, I didn't even put a primer on, and they're still staying. So these eyeshadows stay on all day long, especially with a primer. I always recommend using a primer because you don't want your eyeshadows to go anywhere. You don't want them to move around. You don't want them to crease. So definitely wear a primer, obviously. I recommend this palette. I love it. I'm wearing it today, and I just I love the shades in here. Um, as I said, I didn't really like the highlight shade um, veiled, but these are all really beautiful shades regardless. Um, like I said, some people like highlight shades that aren't too highlighty. Every other shade is really gorgeous. The formula is nice. They're really easy to blend. You can get away with using this for your everyday eye makeup. I will have the link to Sigma's website down below. I'll have my affiliate links down there so you guys can go check out the products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can do a tutorial very soon. I know I haven't done one in a long time. I'm really sorry. Just bear with me. I've been super busy. I also am going to be doing my giveaway soon please bear with me I'm just trying to figure out all of that you know things are just crazy right now so I will be doing a giveaway soon stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will talk to you next time